if you don't have a hill like I just did to climb up and then take a shot with a high heart rate, something you do is uh, something like air squat. So I have my 300 yard target set up. For this drill, I'm gonna have the gun set up and that's okay. And I'm just gonna do um, 50 air squats for time. And then my heart rate will be up from that. Kneel down and try to take the shot as quickly as possible. Uh, simulating again, nice fatigue. So 50 air squats probably gonna take me about a minute and a half. Some people can do it in less than a minute. I'm not that good at air squats. And these pants will restrict a little movement, but that's fine. Three, two, one, go. One thirty-one. So the air squats were a minute and ten. The total time was one thirty-one. So it's twenty-one seconds to get set up and take the shot. As you can see, this one gets a heart rate going up. Um, something I could try to look for to improve next time on that. So ten, one ten for the air squats. Twenty-one seconds to take the round shot. Maybe I try to get set up and shoot the shot first. Uh, shoot the first shot faster. So that's another way to do the drill on your own. And if you have a shorter range, you can do that too. But, um, and as that gets too easy, increase the reps, change the movement. And this type of drill, I wouldn't necessarily see as, you shouldn't train this way all the time, but what this does is it allows you to get your heart rate going and practice taking shots. So this isn't your fitness, this is a way to practice shooting what with an elevated heart rate to some of the scenarios you might see in uh in western style hunt in western style environment 